Hi guys, good morning. I'm so glad that you are my all my subscribers and followers. I want to tell you the reason why I like fasting. Um, I've been fasting over a year now, on and off, you know. But when I first started out, I just wanted to see how it would feel to fast, you know, to go all day without eating. And I just wanted to see if I actually get gained any energy from it and felt better, you know. So, on my first fast, I gained a little bit of energy, but I was mostly weak and very thirsty and hungry, you know. But now when I fast, because I'm used to going down into ketosis and I'm used to fasting, I get a jolt of energy. I get extra energy for some reason. And it kind of uplifts me and it makes me want to do it more and more. But I am not going to be doing a back-to-back -back fast because I'm sort of in like a pre-diabetic diabetes state. So I can't do a back-to-back -back fast. But I can do a 24-hour fast twice a week. So now if you do your 24 hour fast, if you can't do it like Tuesday, skip Wednesday, I'm gonna skip two days. I think I'm doing Tuesday and then Friday or Saturday, one of those, one of the weekend days. So one weekday and one of the weekend days is what I'm gonna be doing for 24 hours because it gets your body all the way down into that fat burning mode, which is where you wanna be. Now, because you're fasting, it doesn't give you an excuse to say, okay, I can come off my fast and cheat. Because I told you something about some sweets I had taken in. I was not supposed to do that. Um, but I was fasting to cleanse myself of various sweets and things that I was trying to add in my coffee, that honey, you know. So don't take in things you're not supposed to have. If you do, just still continue your fast and don't do it again. You get one one mess up, but don't don't give in on a whole fast. Just keep going. Just keep going. Just say, okay, I did that one thing. I'm not gonna do anything else. You know, make sure it's a very small one thing. But don't don't give yourself the limit of okay, I can do one thing. No, no. Just it's a fast. It's a fast and stay strict with it, you know. But if you do some little slight thing, just don't get don't say, Oh, I'm just gonna give up. You know, just keep going, just keep going. Because what it does, uh, it develops your spirit of fasting. It's like exercise. Once you do it so much, it develops the muscle. So fasting is the same way. Once you fast so much, you develop in your fasting quality of how long you can do it, what you like to do when you're fasting, how you distract yourself from eating or thinking about things like foods and stuff. Now, the other thing I do, I, I pray all the time. I'm, I pray mostly in the morning time when I wake up or I pray at night. You know, when I first lay in the bed, I like to pray because I feel like I'm more connected with God when I'm on my way to sleep, when I'm closer to sleep. And sometimes I'll even have a dream like that. You know, and I'll say, God, what was that dream about? You know, I have to pray about it to see if I can get some kind of interpretation of what it was, you know, because God will give you dreams sometime if you're in prayer and you just fall asleep. So it, and sometimes it could be something that's going on with you that you don't, you know, maybe it's something you've been through. So I searched myself. I started thinking, what am I going through? What am I thinking about? Who have I been around? You know, but what I'm trying to say is fasting helps your prayer life. You begin to pray some quality prayers. You begin to want to be more connected and more in touch with the Lord. You want to hear your inner silent voice called the Holy Spirit. Learn to fast. That develops. Let the Holy Spirit speak so you can hear that silent little voice. Um, and then I pray about so many things. I pray about my children, uh, about family and friends. You know, I have such a great prayer life when I fast. But I pray good anyway, you know. So all the time I like to pray. Um, and then I, walk, I, I read the word. And I try my best to turn the TV off most times. Sometimes I do watch an hour or two of TV, you know, late in the evening time when the shows come on and the news. But other than that, I get to bed early on days I fast because I want to get plenty of sleep. It's nothing like being in ketosis, burning calories in your sleep. 
because you're not going to feel tired. And actually, and when you're fasting and you go to sleep and you wake up, you're going to feel a little hungry because you're used to waking up and breaking fast. But don't, don't give in to that. Just drink water and keep going. Keep going as long as you can. I'm going to tell you a quick way to start fasting. After you eat your dinner, you're going to sleep for eight hours. Fast through your sleep and get up and fast about four hours more that'll give you 12 hours and you could fast um longer than that you can even do 16 hours eat dinner go to sleep and then eat lunch you've done 16 hours it's so easy guys to start this thing and it make you feel so much healthier and, and better it's cleaning your your home your body is your home cleaning things out that need to cleanse so that while you're building up muscle, if you're on a carnivore or a keto diet with low sugar, you're building up muscle, you're building up these great reserves, and then you're working out too. You know, we're doing that workout too about once a week. Only once, only um, only twice a week. We do arms and then we do legs, legs and tummy. At least twice a week for just a little bit of time. We don't want to spend a whole week on exercise because we, we might not be getting appropriate enough protein or you might not be able to feel because some people feel like if they're not hungry they don't want to eat and i i'm like that too so when i'm when i'm trying to eat an extra meal i have to force myself to eat that extra meal you know but all it's doing with me eating this extra protein is is helping me sleep longer and better the other night guys i slept 10 or 12 hours and I was shocked. I said, I've never slept that long before. But I've never eaten three meals in a day. I only always eat two meals and a coffee. So what I was doing was replacing a meal with coffee. And that's very unhealthy because instead of you giving your body the nutrients, you're giving your body more stimulant. So I will be trying to wean off. I am trying to wean off the coffee you know, and replace it with tea. I have to remember sometime, oh, I said, I'm going to eat a coffee. No, I'm going to get a tea. I'm going to get a tea, you know, one coffee in the morning. And then so run to get the tea, one run to get the tea. But I don't use a sweetener. I just use a milk or a heavy creamer. I don't use a sweetener or anything. You know, I had that honey in here, but I tossed that in the garbage. My son was looking like sad because I got him on the same diet. So I'm like, nah, you ain't getting no sweets. No, 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 we're going to do this the right way. So I've been feeling pretty good, guys. But anyway, I just came on here to tell you fasting is a great thing. You feel so energized, so much better. It keeps your mind more clear, more focused. It develops your prayer life, you know. So, you know, in the word it says, God says, do put me first and then all these things shall come to you. So focus your attention on adding him in your life every day, you know. All right, guys, I thank you so much. I'm grateful that you subscribed to me. Uh, I'm going to be reading a little bit later about the Nineveh, about Jonah and Nineveh. Because everybody has gone eclipse crazy. I'm like, just stay in your house, pray. If you want to see it, run outside and take a look and run back in, you know. Don't go eclipse crazy. People are talking doom and gloom like never before. Talking about it must be judgment, God's judgment. No, no. The Lord is light. He is not evil. Everybody wants to say some evil happiness from God. What about the devil? What about some evil happening coming from the devil? Have you ever thought about that? You know what I'm saying? The devil is the one that's a deceiver, not God. God is light, awesomeness, pure beauty. He's not, he's not, he's not what you what you all want to say. It's the devil. All right, guys. Be good. Get your rest, and we will reread something a little bit about Nineveh later. All right, talk to you later, guys. Have a good morning. Bye-bye.